Yo, what is up guys, Ultraballs back with another SPL game. Today we have a week 5 NU game between Lax and Kashalos. Uh, getting the teams really quick, hopping into, hop into the game, same as always. Uh, so looking at Lax's side, he has a Torterra, which is really cool. You don't see it very often, I'm assuming it's going to be Rocks. Uh, probably either Scarf uh, Braviary or Scarf Gallade. Maybe Z-Move on Embor, and um, I would assume that the... Um, that the Slavali is going to be Slavali Steel because he doesn't really have a good switch into Whimsicott uh, without that. Uh, probably Defog, I don't know, like Flash Cannon, Flamethrower, Parting Shot, something like that. Uh, and then, oof, wild, wild team by Kush on this side. Nice triple ice. Um, well, it'll actually be cool here because if he's able to weaken the Slavali, like, he's going to be able to chip down the Slavali really quickly because. Savali has no recovery. It's got no wish. Pa like Lax doesn't have wish pass or anything. So I feel like that'll get worn down fast. And then the ice types will actually be able to go in, assuming that they have like freeze dry for Slowbro, which of course Vanillix will. Um, probably Cryogonal will too. Probably Rocks on Drudgeon. So getting into this, I would assume that Rocks are going to go up here from the Drudgeon, and the uh, Braviary is probably going to swap out either to maybe like Slowbro or Torterra or something. Yeah, he does go Torterra, which means he's probably just going to get up Rocks of his own. And I think here, if I was Kushalos, I'd go into, um, the, probably into Cryogonal, because you could just spin them away, uh, keep Hazards off, but he does go Vanillix instead, which, I mean, also works, but I kind of like Cryogonal just because you, like, like, getting the, keeping rocks off super nice, because you have triple rock weak mons. So you Blizzard crits and only does 28, it is Slavali Steel, I'm pretty sure that means that it's Scarf Vanillix, or that's Scarf Damage, and it would make sense on this team for it to be Scarf. It's not Scarf, it's... Assault Vest. What the hell? What is it? <laughs> I don't know what that does, but um, I mean, it's there for a reason. It's there to check something, but it is definitely Assault Vest Vanillix. Um, because normally Flamethrower from Silvalli Steel does like 40 to 45. That shit did 28. So yeah, very interesting. Uh, we Blizzard again on the Parting Shot into Bro. Uh, but this is at minus one now, so it probably won't be able to kill this with Freeze Dry. So the Vanillix is probably forced out. Uh, probably into his own slow bro or something. Yeah, yeah. His legs just slacks off. Uh, now the bros are staring at each other. They could exchange toxics if they both have it. Uh, whichever bro is carrying toxic here, they will probably go for it. Uh, just because like weakening the other slow bro, putting it on a timer is gonna be really nice. Uh, like so, getting like for uh, Lax, uh, toxicing Kush's slow bro is good for his Embor, and if uh, Kush is able to toxic Lax's slow bro, it's good for like the Sneasel, assuming that this is Cobra Berry. Uh, it helps them break through that, so... Yeah, the, if they have Toxic, they're probably going for it. Would be my guess. Um, if they don't, so it looks like uh, Kush doesn't have Toxic on his, so he goes into Cryogonal as Lax does throw off the Toxic. Um, but at least here, Cryogonal's gonna be able to get the spin off, and, like, this is the problem with Silvali Steel. Look at it's at 25%. Like, this is, like, your, your main check to, to Ice-type... Mons, but like you you lost 75% within eight turns. That's why I don't really like this mon. Uh, in theory, it's really good because it could check a lot, but it's just not very good. Um, because you can't run lefties. Uh, it's good. I feel like it's good if you pair it with some sort of wish pass. You're able to keep it healthy, and it's actually pretty solid. But other than that, I just feel like it's not very good. All right, so Slowbro comes in here uh, on the defog, which the defog is pretty obvious there from Lax's part. He gets the parting shot out. Probably into, yeah, Torterra, as you could probably just Scald. Is he Future Sights? Okay, um, that might be a Salt Vest Bro, then, on Kush's side. I don't know what other set would run, like, Future Sight. I feel like it would have to be a Salt Vest. I don't know. All right, we go back into Cryogonal, just spin these rocks away, um, and chill, er, and Lax should probably go into something. Oh my god, what a lord. Stays in at Woodhammer's on spin. I mean, that play, like, I, I like that play. It was risky, but it's a solid play because, like, you know that the spin's coming out. He's got three ice types. He needs the rocks off. Really solid play. Now we go into the Embor on recover. But the problem is, like, the Krogan is super, like, super weakened now. So next time it comes in, it's going to have to choose between healing itself and spinning. Which, that, like, that's going to help Lex a lot. That's why that wood hammer was such a big play. Um, now Embor's in. And... I, I would probably double if I was Lex. Just because there's, like, three potential things that could come in here from uh from kush so i'd probably just switch out to be honest into probably either bro or torterra um because you don't know drudgeon bro or garbador could all come out here so 
Yeah, I, I kind of like slow, bro. I think that's the best play for Lax. But he does go Torterra. Oh, dude, that play was super good. That was such a solid play. So obviously, Kush was thinking the same thing I was and that Lax was. That, like, there's no way I should, like, leave this Embor in right here. So he catches the Torterra with a Toxic. Super solid. Now this Cryogonal is going to be able to get a recover off. Like, granted, it's still going to be pretty low because Toxic's racking up so much. But that was still such a solid play. And putting the Rocker on the timer is really nice. Um, now Savali steals back, steal is back in. Probably going to Parting Shot. Uh, just throws off a Toxic. Uh, interesting. Um... I don't get, like, okay, so it's not, no flash cans. Defog, Toxic, Flamethrower, Parting Shot. That's pretty interesting. Um, I don't really like the Toxic play. I, I feel like if you were going to predict a switch, you just, Parting Shot would have been fine, but. Um, all right, so Vanillix comes in here. That Blizzard doesn't do shit, and now he's definitely forced out. Uh, so Lax will probably, he's going to stay in with Embor this time, probably click a move. Uh, it just depends what he wants to click. Like, Superpower, it would hit the Dredgagon. Uh, Flare Blitz would hit the Garbodor, and Wild Charge is the Slowbro, so take your pick. Uh, he superpowers the Garbodor, but um, this thing, it, it definitely could be Z, could be not locked in, so he could just kill the Garbodor here. Yep, it wasn't Z, so yeah, just, or I mean, it wasn't Scarf, so just kill the Garbodor. Um, but Garbodor is able to pretty much kill the, pretty much kill Embor, which is super nice. Uh... Well, that's like the only thing that the only reason Embor might be okay to stay in NU is because of how quickly it like wears itself out with like recoils and stuff like that. Uh, but to be honest, it's still like a busted mom because depending on which Z moves it runs uh, or like Scarf or Bandit, like it just has no switch ins, no proper switch ins. It's broken. Um, all right, uh, that was a really interesting play. Knocking as opposed to pursuiting. I'm assuming he did that because knocking doesn't let the. Um, Maybe it's because it doesn't let the Silvali come in to defog the T-Spike, I would assume. Unless Pursuit really didn't kill, but it was at 16 and it was at minus... I know it's resisted, right? But it's at minus one defense. So I feel like at minus one, it still would have killed. Uh, but maybe not. Um, yeah. But now the Silvali is going to come in and get this uh, last-ditch defog off anyway. Uh, yeah. So he's able to get the T-Spike off anyway. It, 20? What does it only do 20 for? But yeah, that was really important for Lax. He needed to kind of suicide the Silvali to get that off. That was like really important for the Gallade and the Bro, uh, which both looked like they could put in some work. So, as another really nice play by Lax, wood hammering the Cryogonal switch. Uh, Cryogonal obviously trying to get in on rocks to keep those off. Uh, now Lax could probably honestly just like what a Blizzard. Yeah, Blizzard makes the most sense because freeze dry will kill the Slowbro after. So like you don't have to predict that. Like, you don't have to freeze-dry that turn because you could just freeze-dry this turn. Um, so now he's going to freeze-dry for sure. So Lax is in a bad spot. Uh, he could go into the he could go into the Gallade if he wants to. But um, Gallade, health, like Gallade is actually the one mod that could put in a lot of work. And you probably want to try and keep it. Well, it depends. Like we still don't know if the Bravery Scarf or if the Gallade Scarf, right? So that's going to depend on a lot of things. Because, like, if the Gallade Scarf, like, you don't have to worry about getting Pursuit Trapped by, um, by Sneasel anyway, but then you're well to Oblivion by, by Slowbro. So, if it's, like, an SD Gallade, though, then he wants to keep health on that to keep it out of range of Pursuit, probably. Um, it would be my guess. So then you probably don't want to go into that. Uh, but you don't really want to stay in with this because this will die to freeze dry from here for sure. What does he say here? Lax sec accidentally gave Slowbro base 255 spadef in the calc. Yeah, uh, if Slowbro had 255 spadef, the shit would probably be like anything goes. Like, that'd be like on Mega Ray Quasa levels of broken. Um, but <laughs> I don't get how hard it is to just delete, 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 and just put in the right number. So. Uh, I'd appreciate if we keep this game moving along, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> for real, uh, yeah. Take your time. Kalking's important. So, uh, but yeah, like, I mean, this isn't living. I don't know, like, they're, like he's going to Kalk it, but it doesn't live. I know that there's no way this is living. So he's going to have to switch out here. Uh, just a matter of what he wants to go into. I feel like everything dies except for Gallade, but then he doesn't want to let Gallade take the damage. So, he does go into Braviary. Is this going to die? Oh, it gets crit, so it's definitely going to die. Uh, I'm not sure, like, because it's a, it's, like, it's not specs, 
Uh, that that might have mattered. If you guys want, like, you know, someone could like calc it and like leave it in the comments for people to see. I feel like that might have been a roll, or like it, Braviary might have been able to live one freeze dry. And if that's the case, that sucks because if it's yeah. Now we see SD Galate, so it's probably Bra uh, Scarf Braviary. It would have, it would have been able to outspeed um, the the uh, Vanillix the next turn, so that crit would have sucked uh, if it mattered. So yeah, someone calc can see with Z move. What is it? Savage spin out, dude. That is so awesome. What the hell? SD Savage spin out. What, what even bug moves does this even get? Does this get like Megahorn or something? I don't know. Yeah, that's cool. I agree. That's super cool. Like, I like that way more. Like, obviously, Mega Galate or something in OU, right? They're, they use like knockoff. But the thing is, like, knock's not even good in NU because most of the bros run Cobra Berry. So it's like pointless. So, like, like a Z Dark would be pointless. That's why Z Bug is way better. That's really awesome. I feel like. The, the game almost, I feel like, is going to come down to this 50-50 here between Pursuit or Icicle Crash. Uh, whoever wins this 50-50 is going to be in a really good spot. Um, because if Lax goes slow, bro, and uh, there's no Pursuit, then, like, bro's going to wall this, because I'm positive Lax's bro is going to be Cobra. Um, but yeah, if, if Lax stays in on the Pursuit and kills the Sneasel, this also wins. It's just, the Galate will just win. So he loses the 50-50. Um... I mean, there's not much to say about that. That was literally like a 50-50. So, um, yeah. Good. I I feel like that just put Kush in a really good spot, though, for sure. Like, he's in a really solid spot. All right, so the um, the Slowbro comes out. The thing is, you can't go into uh, Vanillux because it's pretty low. So you have to go Drudgigon. And now, like, these plays are, like... The game's still not 100% like guaranteed, I don't think. So, yeah, Toxic on the Torterra... I actually think Torterra can... What's it going to do here? Earthquake or get up rocks? I guess you could try and get up rocks to limit the limit the Vanillix. Because Vanillix is obviously a threat. Goes hard, Sneasel, and lacks reset Earthquakes. Kills the Sneasel off. I don't know if snacking, sacking Sneasel was the correct play. Because I feel like... Right, so even though Sneasel is going to be walled by the bro, like, you just keep spamming knockoff, and it will eventually would have put it into range of freeze dry, I feel like. Um, but he was trying to get it in on rocks, I'm assuming, which I understand. Because, like, the Vanillix is burned, and if rocks would have went up, the Vanillix was going to be, like, a non-factor. But either way, he's able to, uh, freeze-dry, kill the, um, kill the thing. What, what is it? What is it called? <laughs> kill the, um, the Torterra. And now he's forced, now Kush is forced into the Drajagon, right? So what he's going to try and do is get a Toxic off on the Slowbro and try and stall it out enough so that it'll be in range of freeze-dry. And I don't know exactly how much freeze dry is going to do or not. So this will be interesting. I think this might like come down to the wire. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's protecting to like stall out some turns, get the toxic damage off. And I think because this is toxic protect rocks, the last move is probably dragon tail. So it actually can even like outspeed the slow bro and hit it with any damage. Slack off on protect. This actually might be really bad for Kush now. Uh... Depending on if freeze dry will do. Oh, he gets the protect. That's so lame. The double. I don't know if it would have mattered. Like you'd have to calc that. It probably mattered. That's so lame though. Um, yeah, Lax is kind of upset. I could understand why. Because like, so this is like. I guess you'd have to calc, right? Does freeze dry from no, like just like no boosting item Vanillix? Would that kill the slow bro from seventy? And I'd say it'd be really close. To that might have been a roll. Um, yeah, it might be a roll. Damn. But either way, the game's going to end now because you just go Vanillix and click Freeze Dry. Or, oh, it's just going to die to Toxic. So, uh, yeah, Kush is able to win this game over Lax. The Double Protect was pretty lame. Like I said, I, you'd have to, like, two calcs that you'd have to check to, to see. To see how much they matter in this game. One, the Freeze Dry crit on uh, Braviary. And then the second one would be the, would be the um, Freeze Dry damage on Slowbro. Because, like I said, that double protect was probably what won the game, depending um, on that roll. Yeah. So, uh, really interesting game, though. That was like a, that was. I felt like that game was super fun. That was a, that was a really fun one to watch. So, see Kashalos there getting the win over Lax, uh, making it one-one at this time for the Bigs and the uh, Ruiners. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.